Okay, hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be doing a bookshelf tour-ish. So, obviously, I'm in college and I was not able to bring all my books, obviously, because I have limited space. Um, so, I wanted to show you the books that I have here tell you a little bit about them, ones I recommend, what ones are on my TBR, basically all of that stuff. Um, and yeah, so I wanted to show you guys what books I have here. Um, and if you're wondering, oh my god, like, that's kind of a lot of books to have in college, like, you're gonna have to bring that all back. And to that I say, I know. <laughs> it's a lot, I know, like, I have way too many books here. Um, but also I say to you, I'm mentally ill. <laughs> and books are the only happiness i get here so i do end up buying so many books here like me in my mail room are like this because i go down there so frequently from amazon packages like it's kind of embarrassing but i digress i mean books make me happy the only thing that makes me happy here so i just keep buying more and more or we're, we're gonna go through all of these books and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about them. I'm gonna go through each individual stack and all that stuff. But I am moving out of where I used to live. So doing that when I go back um, in the summer and I'm getting more bookshelves because obviously all of these books are not on my bookshelf back home and my bookshelf back home is full. So I need another one. Um, and we're gonna be doing a little reorganization bookshelf tour in the summer, like in May. Get excited for that because I will be doing that. I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna go tell you about all of these books. I have about, let me count. I have almost 50 books here. Okay. That's a lot. Like, I I keep telling everyone, I'm like, I have like about 30. That was like 20 books ago. Like, I have almost 50 now. So, yeah, that's a little problem, but what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? Okay, let's stop talking. I'm gonna run you through all the books, okay? Okay. This is like a little close up of all the books I have. So we're going to start with this stack first, so there is no overview. I now have the first stack in front of me, which I will hold up. Maybe this is the first stack. Okay, okay. That was a lot. First book I have on top is Before We Were Strangers by Renee Carlino. If you watched my last video, um, I read this in my last reading vlog. I'll put it at the end of this video if you want to watch that. Um, I read this just recently. Um, it's a second chance romance. It's based in NYU in New York City. So we go back and forth from the past to the present, kind of do that, and we get both perspectives. So if you're looking for both perspectives, this does have it. And you can see all my emotions because I sobbed. <laughs> I did cry when I read this. So that's the first book. Next, we have The Godparent Trap by Rachel Von Dyken. I also recently just read this in the same reading vlog. I didn't really have too many thoughts about this. It's enemies to lovers, and they have to, like, raise a child together, basically. Next is my favorite book of all time, Archer's Voice by Nan Sheridan. This book is amazing. I've talked about it so many times. I think I talked about it in my September reading wrap-up also, but... I love this book so much. It is a small town and basically there's a lot of trauma and like sadness in it so I would be aware of that but if you like really sad books or you like characters with depth to them I would really really recommend this. Small town kind of like soft boy trope I guess. Let's spell you by Mia Sheridan. I honestly don't know the tropes about this because I can't really I did read it though, but I can't really remember it. So. But it is, Mia Sheridan always has like a lot of depth to her characters. So if you're looking for like sad, emotional reads, Mia Sheridan slays the game. Also the lighting is really bad, but like don't talk about it. I don't have a light over here, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. 
Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. This is the second book in this like companion novel thing. This is like small town also but they come from like a rich family so it deals with that. But if you like to have one summer read this one because it's better than to have one summer. I think I don't know I read this in August like right when I got to college so it's been a little while. But yeah we have that. The Roommate by Rosie Dannon. This is like forced proximity yada 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 stuff like that. I don't really know how to describe this but it was okay. Cute cover though. I really love the cover. This Wrong Number by Lynn Painter. This is like enemies to lovers moment. They talk to each other but they don't really know it's each other but I think it's her brother's best friend. Yeah it's brother's best friend so if you're into that this is what that is. Then we have The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. This is um kind of I don't really know the tropes of this because they're roommates but they don't like actually talk until like more than 50% of the way through this book um but I don't know but I really love the cover like let's talk about this cover hello this cover is so cute like wanna not to judge a book by its cover but I did judge a book by its cover because this cover is the cutest thing ever and that's why I bought it now we're gonna get out of romance a little I know that's so shocking because literally all I read is romance but we're gonna get out of romance for like literally two seconds and we're gonna go to The Guest List by Lucy Foley. This is a mystery. It happens like in a wedding. I read this in October. All of these rest of these books that I'm gonna talk about like that are not romance, I read in October because in October I basically only read, only read uh, mysteries and thrillers. So there's that. But then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. Haven't read this. I got 30 pages in and DNF'd dnf'd i will probably go back to this eventually maybe i actually don't know i'm kind of not interested in it at all but um i got this for the month of october and didn't end up reading it so here it's kind of good i don't know i kind of hear mixed reviews but this is that it's a mystery her daughter like goes missing i think the silent patient by alex michael michael Leedy. This girl shoots her husband um and then she's silent doesn't talk to anyone and he kind of wants to get to know why she's silent. It follows him in his story trying to figure her out. Finally, for this stack, we have The Husbands by Chandler Baker. I have not heard anyone talk about this book, literally at all. Um, I went to a bookstore and picked it up because it sounded really interesting. The way I describe this to my friends is basically like if you watch Don't Worry Darling with Florence Pugh and Harry Styles, it's basically like that, but reversed, like the women are like the powerhouse of this like suburban neighborhood. Um, I actually kind of enjoyed it. Like I remember a lot of this book, which means it stuck with me and I kind of enjoyed it. So, but maybe that's just because I love Don't Worry Darling. I don't really know. That is the first stack done. And let's move on to the second one. My knees hurt y'all. My knees are aching. Okay, so we're on to the next stack now. The first book is From Live Off With Love by Mariana Zapata. This is a slow burn. Obviously, when you hear Mariana Zapata, she's slow burn. She doesn't do anything else. Slow burn, kind of like sports because they're figure skaters. I would recommend if you want to read Mariana Zapata. I started with this because they like look at each other for most of the book, which is better than some of her other books. I hear some of her other books, they don't even look at each other until you're 75% of the way through the book. Then we move on to The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. Girl, why are you sleeping? Fine print by Lauren Asher. This is a part of the Dreamland Billionaire series. So obviously they're billionaires. And this is like grumpy slash sunshine and it's a workplace romance. That's the first one. Then we move on to Terms and Conditions, which is part of the same series. Billionaire trope, obviously, and also grumpy sunshine, also workplace romance, but also this is Marriage of Convenience, which makes this one so much better than the first one. I'm losing my voice. Hello. I need a drink of water or something. We have The Final Offer, which I also read in that same reading vlog if you want to see my thoughts on it. Um, this is the third and final book in the Dreamland Billionaire series and it's Second Chance Billionaire and he's like sunshine. So good. So I'll read this one. Definitely. You can read these all on their own, but I recommend reading all of them. And then we're going to move on to my Anna Hong Shrine. Yes, we are. First off, obviously we have Twisted Love. This is like 
billionaire, grumpy, um, romance. And she's like really sunshine. Like that's literally his nickname for her. My best friend's reading it right now and she does not like it. <laughs> but don't let that sway you. The series is so good. Then we have this second book in the series, which is Twisted Games, which is the best book in the series. If you're going to read any book of the series, read this one because Reese, oh my god, he is like one of the best book boyfriends ever. Anna Hong did him so well. This is like, she's a princess and he's her bodyguard. Stop. Twisted Hate, which is the third book in the series. This follows um, enemies. He is not a billionaire. He's just a normal folk. He's like a doctor. Um, and they hate each other. And it's her best friend's brother. So his sister's best friend. So it's kind of tea. And this is the final book in the Twisted series. This is the fourth one, Twisted Lies. Um, it follows like a social media influencer and a like CEO of a security company. But it's like kind of like fake dating. And he's also a billionaire. I love billionaire men. And this one's really, really good too. If you're going to read any of them in the two series, I mean, you can read these on their own like you don't have to read all of them but if you're gonna read any two read twisted games and twisted lies they're the two best okay and the final book for this stack is kings of wrath by anna huang this um this is not like connected to the twisted series but it's in the same universe like we see this character brought up in the final book of the twisted series so it's in the same like universe um and this is also billionaire this is marriage of convenience so, like fake marriage and I love this one. It was so good. If you're looking for spicier reads, the Twisted series and Kings of Wrath, really, really good for that. So, okay, we're gonna move on to the next stack. Let's start. So the first book on top is Jasper Vale. I also talked about this in my reading vlog. Um, it's basically they got married, um, but it's part of the Eden series and I love the Eden series. It's small town. If you like small town, please read the Eden series. It's so good. But this is Jasper Vale by Daphne Perry. My Policeman by Beth and Roberts. This book basically goes everywhere with me. I love this book so much. I've annotated it heavily. Um, if you haven't read it, please go read it. It's a forbidden love story. So it deals with like homosexuality in the 1950s and how forbidden it was. And you know, it's flash forward and like flashback. And it's really, really a heartfelt story. And if you want to read it, please read it before you watch the movie. Um, but Harry Styles is in the movie, so. We're gonna move on to the Colleen Hoover books I have with me here. I obviously don't have all my Colleen Hoover books. Some of them are back home, but yeah. This one is Heart Bones. I also have this uh, book in a reading blog. I don't know if I tell you a lot about my thoughts, but it's like a summer vibe. So if you're looking for summer vibe, Heart Bones by Colleen Hoover would be really good. I know some people don't wanna support Colleen Hoover. So obviously all of Colleen Hoover's books have like a plot twist. So expect that basically. <laughs> then we have Layla, which I will not be recommending to anyone. Um, Layla by Colleen Hoover was one of my most disappointing reads of last year. It was so bad and made me so uncomfortable. Ew. It starts with Us by Colleen Hoover, which is also a semi-disappointing read. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't the best thing in the world. It's basically just the second book of Atlas and Lily. I'm sure everyone on planet Earth has read this. As well as It Ends with Us by Colleen Hoover. Literally, I think everyone on planet Earth has read this book, so I don't really want to talk about it you know basically everyone knows what it's about but Blake Lively got casted for Lily and I'm so excited I love Blake Lively gossip girl stan I am um am I excited about Justin we'll leave silence there I don't know all your perfects by Colleen Hoover. I bring this book back and forth with me because it's literally one of my favorite books of all time. I love it. This book's really, really good. Um, it does do then and now, so you see the relationship then when they were young and you see them in their marriage when things are a little rocky, but it's so, so good. It made me sob. Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover, another really, really sad book. This book is basically about a mom who just got out of prison and she's trying to get her daughter back and we go through all of that and she falls in love in the process so yeah this one was also really really good another one of my favorite books of all time super super sad and then we have verity by colleen hoover which is one of her thriller reads this one was so much better than layla guys i recommend this one over layla i don't even know what the back says but it's really fucked up it really is but i enjoyed it <laughs> next we're gonna move on to my emily henry beach read obviously amazing 
I don't know a lot of people who haven't read Beach Read. One of the best books. Obviously, read it during the summertime. The summer vibes are really, really good. But this is also so much more than a rom-com. It deals with a lot of issues that I personally relate to. Um, and I just loved it for that aspect because I found a lot of advice and stuff throughout this book. So I really enjoyed it. Book Lovers, her newest release. Um, this one was my second favorite uh, book by her. A lot of good quotes because this girl's like an independent queen. I love her. She does fall in love. But she's an independent queen and Charlie Lastra, oh my god, so so good. It deals with like small town also, kind of, so. And the last book in this stack is People We Need on Vacation by Emily Henry. I don't really remember much about this, but the beach vibes were there and that's all I have to say. Okay, we're gonna move on to the last stack. The first one is Lotus by Jennifer Hartman. Um, this book basically also deals with a lot, a lot of trauma. Check the trigger warnings if you want to, because this does deal with a lot of, a lot of stuff. He basically went missing, and we follow both perspectives, and this is like soft boy trope. I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. This is her memoir. Please read it. It's so, so good. It was so sad, but also like so good. The way she wrote it was really, really good. So I highly recommend you read this, honestly. These books were all in my like big haul that I did so I'm not going to really go into detail but because in that video you can definitely see me try to explain it and like the tropes and stuff so if you want to see more detailed stuff about them go to my book haul that's what it's called Throttled by Lauren Asher this is a sports romance and then we also have Collided by Lauren Asher also sports romance um I've read these two already so these are not on my TBR anymore third book which is Wrecked um, also sports. They all are sports romance because they all do with F1 racing. It's redeemed. These two books are still currently on my TBR. I have not read them. I took a break from this series because of my current read, which I will show you because it is a part of my book collection here, but these two are still on my TBR. Then we have Things You Never Got Over by Lucy Score. This is small town romance. Um, I did read this, so it's not on my physical TBR anymore. Be proud of me. I'm getting through these books. All Roads Lead Here by Miranda Zapata. Another small town romance. Slow burn. Um, very, very thick. Mia Sheridan, More Than Words. Um, I don't really know what this one's about. I like leaving things up for a surprise sometimes, but Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker. Small town romance on my physical TBR. Then I have Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. This has been on my TBR for almost a year because I won it in a book contest at school, like in my high school, and I still have not read it. But I will eventually, John Green, don't you worry about it. I know he's so worried that I'm not gonna read his books. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what it's about, but I picked it because I recognized it. That's basically about it. And now we're moving on to the last two books in the stack. The Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston. This book is kind of, I think she sees ghosts. I got like 30 pages in and I DNF'd it because I got more books that I wanted to read um, and I just wasn't feeling this book at the time, but I think she sees ghosts and she's like a part of publishing or something. Guys, I don't know, but I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I got it. The last book on my TBR is One Last Stop by Casey McClinston. I got this a year ago and I still haven't read it. It's a lesbian couple and I think there's like time travel in it or something, but it takes place in New York City. So, and I love New York City, but I will read this. I will. I promise you, I bought it, I'm gonna read it. I just kept getting more books that I wanted to read more. So that's always my downfall, is getting books I wanna read more and I need to stop doing that. But that's all of that stack, so I'm gonna put it away now. Yeah, these are the 50-ish books that I have here. Um, and if you wanna see the book that I'm currently reading right now, which is so, so, so exciting, it is Saving Six by Chloe Walsh. I had to stop reading Lauren Asher's Dirty Air series because I had to read this. Like, there was nothing else I wanted to read more. And I'm currently 170 pages in, and it's so good. Um, I love Binding and Keeping 13, and this book is just amazing already. Like, I'm not even, like, halfway through, and I'm in love with it. It's so, so, so good. Um, if you haven't read Binding and Keeping 13, the Boys of Tommen series, read it now. Read it now. It is literally like on the same level as Addicted Calloway. It's so, so, so good. I really, really recommend. This is the last book I have in my dorm. That is my entire book collection in my dorm. When I move back in the summer, in May, I will be doing a bookshelf reorganization and bookshelf tour with 
actually all of my books so look forward to that in may but that's basically it thank you guys so much for watching a comment and subscribe if you want to and i'll see you in the next video